welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna do a nice video on how I do my wash and goes. I'm not the best at hair, but this is just what I do. I got a, I've gotten a few questions on it, so I'm just gonna show you what I do. Um, I've already washed, deep conditioned my hair, and to wash my hair, I used the Eden All Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. It's so gentle and soft on your hair. It feels like conditioner, but it literally takes everything out. And then for my deep conditioner, I use the Shea Moisture Strength Grow and Restore Treatment Mask. This is so thick and it literally gets all the strands of my hair so nice and moisturized. So to start off the tutorial, I'm really just gonna do the lock method um, where I use my leave-in conditioner, I use the oil, and then I use a curling cream product to hold the curls in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slick my edges down with some Eco Styler Gel. Now to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Shea Moisture Strength and Grow Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I'm actually gonna divide my hair up first. Again, you guys, I don't know anything about hair. I've kind of just learned along the way. My hair is still slightly transitioning from damaged hair, from heat damage. But anyway, so when you do this, you want it to be really drenched, and I kind of do my hair in fourths, and I'll do put all three products in this part, all three here, and do the same up top. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this one up here, just kind of to preserve the moisture and the water that's in it so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna take a little spray bottle like so. It just has water in it. I normally do this part in the shower or like right after I get out of the shower so it's normally always soaking wet. So that's really what I'm trying to do right now. So that's that. I'm gonna take the um, leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna take like a hefty amount, you guys. I like drench my hair. My curls are so tight. I take about that much. That's probably maybe too much, but whatever. I focus it at the roots and then I take it to the ends because my roots are a lot more curly than and kinky than the bottom. And I'm just kind of combing it through, making sure it gets everywhere all through the hair. I'm then gonna take a little coconut oil. I'm gonna take about this much and then I just kinda rub it in my hands so it gets nice and melty and then I just kind of put that into my hair. Again, I want it to get in the roots and I'm really just combing it through now. I make sure to comb it through so it gets all of my curls, my hair. Okay, so now that that is that, for my styling cream, I'm using the Pillow Soft Curls by Miss Jessie's. You guys, this is bomb. It smells like laundry detergent though, but it smells good. So I took about, I didn't show you how much, but I made sure I took a good amount and it's so soft on the hair. And I just really comb this through. I really comb all these products through. And the whole point is I want it to be really, really saturated in my hair, like as you see now. I'm gonna take a little more, I feel like I need it. Or in the back, so I'm taking this much more. And a little goes a long way, guys. Okay. So now that that's nice and saturated, I'm gonna take my Denman brush here and really just comb through the curls to make sure they all are gonna be uniform. And this really helps make sure the products gets through all the curls. That's what I feel like, you guys. Again, I'm not a hairstylist. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna kinda wiggle it to make sure all the curls are gonna come through. As you can see, I have like um, thicker curls looser curls at the bottom and really thick curls at the top. That is because my hair is heat was heat damaged badly, so I'm just still kind of transitioning. I'm gonna do the same to this side of the head. Splitting it up into section helps me make sure that all my hair is saturated. I'm just gonna kind of 
brush through the bottom now in the back. I'm literally just brushing it out. Okay, I'm gonna kind of shake, shake my curls so they come through. You guys see what I'm talking about? The, the hair texture difference? Yeah, it's real. So I'm gonna do the same to the top and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we're nice and locked in, there's product all over my hair. I've already used a dimming brush to kind of like even out my curls. I'm gonna take a comb and part it where I want my part to be. I really just like a side part and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the left side of my head. Like so. So now that I have a nice part, I'm gonna use my dimming brush one more time to lay the hair over where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna kind of shake it out, shake it out. Yeah, I'm so annoying, literally. So I'm just kind of shaking it loose. So now it's time for my Eco Styler Gel, and I use the one with Argan Oil. I find that it does not flake, and it literally holds your plate, your hair in place. Take my toothbrush, and I honestly just dip it in here. My toothbrush, an old toothbrush. I'm just gonna dip it in there, just a smidge, and then I tap it off, so it's not too much. Like so. I kind of just like to pull my, pull it down. You guys, again, I'm not a hairstylist. Who knows if this is the right way to do it? I'm sure I'll find out in the comments below if it's right or wrong. And I'm kind of just, you know, brushing them the way I want them to look. I feel like your edges make or break your hair look. So we just need to make sure they're on point, duh. I'm just gonna bring them down. I'm using a really soft toothbrush, guys. I don't wanna brush my edges away. Like, I want some edges still, you know what I mean? And then I'm taking a little here just to lay this part down because I really like for it to be nice and sleek. So I never diffuse my hair. I always find that it frizzes and I just kind of let it air dry all day. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back periodically showing you the stages of the drying. And I don't touch it, I don't flush with it or anything. I just lither, literally let it air dry. So I'm gonna do my makeup, I'll be back. All right guys, so I just spent about 45 minutes with my makeup just cause I'm extra. I did use this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette as well as the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dolce K. If you do wanna see a tutorial with these two, I can do this. Um, so it has been about 45 minutes and this is how dry it's gotten. And there's some frizz in the back because I kind of moved this piece. I should have left it alone, but it is what it is. Um, I do have looser curls at the bottom and then tighter curls at the top if you can see. I would say my hair is more so like 4A. People try to tell me it's not. Maybe it's 3C. I say 3C, 4A. That's the type of hair I believe I have. Again, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm a makeup artist, but that is just what I've learned from YouTube. So yeah um and as far as my hair i kind of trim it myself i use hair scissors and i just trim the straight pieces i see i do have to say my hair has come a long way from me transitioning i'll make sure to link a picture somewhere around here so you guys can see what my hair used to look like so yes i'll be back and um whenever it dries so you guys can see the finished result bye Okay guys, so here is my finished hair. It's like a little damp, but it's pretty much dry. You wanna look all the way around. Nice and big. My curls at the bottom are nice and defined. So basically, I, um... Basically, I just make sure it dries in this form because I really hate frizz and my hair can frizz like crazy. But once it fully dries, or like even my day two hair, I kind of just give it a little more body, but my hair naturally has body on its own. As you see, it fluffed up on its own. So I really do hope you learned something from this tutorial. Again, please don't think I'm a hairstylist or anything. Again, I'm just a makeup artist. So what I say is just what I do and what I find to work on my hair. You guys, hair, everybody's hair is so different. So you can find different products that work best for you. But I find that the lock method works best for me because it seals my moisture in four days. I'm also gonna film my twist out tutorial because I've I had my hair twisted out a couple, a few videos back and people asked to see that as well. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video. And please let me know if you have curly hair, what hair products you'd like to use in the comments below. I'll catch you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.
yeah, I really like the way it turned out. The necessary products you need are a good foundation, the brow pomade, a mascara, 